What do you see? Stretch your wings, Sunan. Hemming your yard gone, can Lily hold the reins? Will he guide us true? Exactly, Gorn, Mr. I'm not really a scalpork in a gamanok, and be the valet nu. Three look at Gothban, stir us Saxon. You are the wolf-kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Creatures, you are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingoriart with ale and open arms. Have the gift of foresight, seer. Can you augur what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. <laughs> Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trigvi, there is no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. 
Ascend the sleeping Jotun. Consume the waters and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Ascend the sleeper. Take the drink and meditate at the peak. Let the answers you seek find you. Heming Ayal, is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's hall? I've well in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. A struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory, as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We're only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate, then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Remember you. You left me too soon, Hemminger Jarl. Your shire's face is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. Your 
edge is blunted by indecision. You lead warriors now. Never waver. You did, Heming Ayal. You did. And that is why my words should land true. Trust your judgment. Pushed me, Hemminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, save for you have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? Come, come, don't be shy. These are locally sourced. Yes, you've made the right choice. Oh, this is a nice one. Wonderful. No refunds. This comes from a faraway land. Happy to lighten your load. Sure, there isn't uh, something else you wanted? I have to go. See you soon.
This is an excellent shield, Solomon. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur, something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear. Did he not wield it at Ulkethorp? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. <laughs> Head on to the cavern, Eivor. Ispion awaits me elsewhere. <laughs> Sunan, guide me. Exile must value his solitude living in a hole such as this. You're a difficult man to find. Uh. Hemingayal is dead. Mm. 
I was told you're a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminger Jarl. The stones. Heminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Jarl's heart never wavered. In life it did not, but in death it lies as still as a stone. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? him. By his unrivaled prowess on the battlefield. Ah, Gunknir then. Odin's faultless spear, a symbol of power. Is this your choice? I still need to consider. Hmm. By his wisdom, Always an inspiration. The web of weirs, then. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? I still need to consider. By his determination to keep his clan safe and his people celebrated. The mark of vague Vizier. Sights never lost. Is this your decision? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heminger Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminger would be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear.
This is an outrage! Our strong feelings for Hemming come with much grief. We are too rather festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trickvy. I'll do what I can to calm things. Survey the area soon. That Saxon did what? How dare he insult our culture? He's a dead man if I ever get my hands on him. Go, my eyes. Help! Fire! Save my Vodite burns! What is this Voda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame! Retrieve my Voda, I beg of you. It is my funeral gift. The honor of my family at stake. If this is your Voda, I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes. A most potent drink. Distilled from grain by the Rus of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in the belly never hurt. Watch yourself. The Voda sneaks up on you quick. Cast about this land, my friend. They are going to kill him! I told him not to do it! Now he's locked up in that house with no way out! Come out, you dung-eating rat! What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I'll speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Get that stain out here now! Oh my god! 
The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here, on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. You've got the key! Use it! Get the key out here now! You'll pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger! I swear! I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God! So you drench his body with your filth waters? Is it your Christian holy water? Of course! I anointed him in the name of the Lord! Never inflict your Christian mysteries on a dead Norseman. But I only... These are your neighbors. Respect them, learn their ways, and you will draw breath long into old age. Oh no! There you are, baptized as one of us. All these are true. What see you, old friend? Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. When you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Some order seems to have been restored. Now to treat me, to let him know. A fellow adventurer need to know the lie of the land? Well worth a little silver, I assure you. All right. Right. Let me show you something on your map. Did you see that sopping sack of meat with the roosters? What an arsehole. I have calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. 
they mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heming, I would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trikvi. With time. Yes, it will. The Jarl thing is tomorrow, and a Jarl must be chosen. I should speak with Suniva about this. Did you consult the Volvo? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trikvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trikvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The flames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trikvi. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Vili, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trikvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Heminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. This is no small decision, Trikvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. 
When people looked to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? And was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy and life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! <gasps> Suniva! Picts were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase. Arsh, stick. You should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with Picts. Tell no one of this. The last thing we need is a dozen more bodies for hemming us, Pyre. This will be a fine tale to tell after the Alding. But until then, we stay quiet. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our state was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back, as children, and again now. This rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him. I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of Raven Clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. Return to us safely, Drengur. Be my eyes, Sunan.
stop, Vili. They're gone. It's done. Bah! I've seen roosters fight with more spirit. Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. Is it thunder? Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly!
was it not? Just like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. <laughs> Ah, my sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavanger? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you had been up to. But I smiled at hearing your name, and I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable, no matter how glorious it may be? Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. What about Trikvi? Me? Your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak the truth. I understand. Troll-faced Arstic. <laughs> a chicken draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda too. A water infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun even. 
Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. No, I never dwell on a past that way. I find it slows me down to a crawl, and I'm not made for crawling. I think I'll turn in. Long day ahead. Are you going? Uh, with so much on my mind, I haven't slept a wink. The funeral, the fanes. I should get back. I understand. I'll see you there. Billy, gone already. To prepare for the funeral, I imagine.